Hi, it's T-H-E, The Show, at Newport 2012. I'm here with Albert von Schweiker. Good morning. Good morning, Peter. And I'm also here with his son, Damon. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about the technology and about the speakers you have uh, at the show here today. Well, uh, several years ago, we realized that uh, cabinet resonance um, had been uh, uh, greatly eradicated through uh, very expensive means, such as $30,000 and $50,000 aluminum cabinets. Mm -hmm. So I decided to, to uh, invent a technology that would uh, give you that same type of resonance control but uh, retail at much lower prices. So we have the trilaminate wall construction that you see here. And it's three different materials bonded together that have opposing Q factors. That looks like an audio sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. In essence, yeah. what it yeah. does is cancel the uh, vibration mm -hmm. and uh, allows the speaker to, to sound as transparent as something four or five times more expensive. So that's within the wall of the whole loudspeaker all around, or is it just on the back of it, or how do you um, have that in Well, uh, because we're using uh, honeycomb, crisscross uh, vertical and horizontal bracing inside, these uh, slabs are placed in between the, the, the uh, honeycombs. Mm -hmm. And uh, in essence, most of the interior of the cabinet either has a brace or it has a three inch thickness of the uh, triple wall laminate damping. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, as one of our um, uh, new products, can take a look. I'd like to uh, introduce the VR44, and this comes in two versions, active and passive. Now, the active version has a powered subwoofer that operates from 100 hertz on down, mm -hmm. and then the customer's main amplifier um, uh, drives the two-way speaker at the top from 100 hertz on up. It's got beautiful uh, finish viewers. I. You can see the sparkle, it's an automotive type beautiful finish. Yes, yep. and this comes uh, painted in any automotive finish the customer desires. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's priced at 25000 a pair. Mm -hmm. And then without the uh, amplifier built in for the subwoofer, uh, for instance, if you have a big giant solid state amp and you don't really need to do the bi amp uh, mode, uh, we have a passive version at uh, $22,000 a pair. That's excellent. And I understand, Damon, that you're uh, responsible for a good bit of the uh, exterior design on Correct. the product? Correct. We, uh, we worked together on this model uh, with the design of the cabinet. And, um, and it's, like I said, it's the it's next generation of the VR4 design that we started back in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, the name kind of tells you a little bit about that. But it incorporates the same type of architecture, the, um, the two faster woofers as opposed to one large woofer. And, uh, and then there's a rear ambient uh, tweeter on the back that, that is part of our um, rear ambient technology. And it gives you, uh, by that modulating that, that, uh, that tweeter, you're able to get uh, either a, a deeper sound stage or, and or you know, better detail and uh, air around the, uh, the image that's projected. Now, are the, are the levels fixed uh, for the rear firing tweeter, or does the user have any adjustability there? Complete adjustability. It's really dependent on the amount you'll use is, is user preference, but uh, the um, relationship to rear boundary or the dampening in the rear boundary, for example, we have you know, car, um, curtains here in the back, mm -hmm. are going to uh, obviously determine how much of that rear tweeter you're using. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's absolutely up to the user's choice, and um, you know, that's a part of the whole... Uh, you know, setting up and, uh, and tweaking the system. That's great. People have to get involved to make their sound oh, yeah. sound what they need. Exactly. Great. Well, thank you guys very much. I'd like to introduce next up, guys, we're going to listen and talk to uh, the amplifier guru.